All right. So for this problem, ladies and gentlemen, oops, there we go. Um, what we have is we have the problem here with uh, number 23. So number 23 is saying the height of an outdoor basketball backboard. So let's go and draw a backboard. So the first thing we're obviously going to do, right, is just draw a picture to go and describe it. So we have a nice little backboard. And it says the height of outdoor backboard is 12 and a half feet. Now, I really do not like using feet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to want to um, put this into inches, all right? So to go and convert them from feet to inches, all right? Well, you can say how many inches are in one foot? 12. So I have 12 of them. So I do 12 times 12, which is going to be 144. Half of a foot would be 6. So actually, this is going to be 150 inches. Do we have to convert them into inches? It's going to be very helpful when you compute. All right? Compute what? Compute the length or anything else you're going to be using. OK? So then we could say, then it says, um, and a backboard casts a shadow 17 um, and 1 third feet long. So you got a nice sun right here, and it's going to cast a shadow. Now the length of the shadow, not the length of the shadow ray, but the length of the shadow is 17 and a third feet. Which again, if I want to convert it to two inches, I'll do 12 times uh, 17 is going to give me 204. And then a third of a foot is going to be an extra four inches. So that's going to be 208 inches. Okay. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, I have 150 inches and 208 inches. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, when we're creating our picture, the main important thing that we have to make sure we have is right triangles. All right, we have to be able to use our right triangles to solve for this. So I can see my backboard, that's going to create a uh, 90 degree angle right there. So it says, um, use trigonometric functions to write the equation involving the unknown angle all right, of the sun. Find the angle of elevation of the sun. So what we want to do is we want to find angle of elevation. So remember, angle of elevation, we have to have a horizontal line. And angle of elevation is going to be the angle above your horizontal, which in this case will be theta. So therefore, I have theta, and I have my opposite side and my adjacent side. So therefore, I can say tangent of theta is equal to 150 over 208 inches. Right? But ladies and gentlemen, what are we trying to figure out? They're trying to find this angle of elevation. So how do we rewrite this to find theta? Anybody have an idea? You write theta. Well, theta equals inverse tangent of 150 over 208. All right? You're not going to want to use your fractions in here. See how this is kind of when you do your ratio? Right? You're not going to want to use 12 and a half with your fractions. You're going to want to convert them um, over. So therefore, to complete this problem, I'll just do 150 divided by 208. And then I take inverse tan. And then inverse tan, second answer. Not giving me what I have. Um, oh, I did the wrong one. 150 divided by 208. And you got to make sure your degree, your calculator is in degree mode. And you get 31.996. So therefore, I'm going to say theta is approximately 32 degrees. OK? Yes? What would you get for 150 divided by 208? Did you have 150 divided by 208? OK, 0.7211, right? And then you do inverse tangent of second answer. So inverse tangent. I still got 35. Yeah, I'm getting 35 too. I don't know. I don't know what happened there. I might have typed in the wrong number again. So yes, you're right. Theta equals, um, let's do 35. Point 
eight zero. And let's approximate that with the squiggly. Okay. So you could do it either way, whichever one you felt comfortable with. Or do you want it to be done a specific way on the test now? What do you mean? What like squiggly? Like we well, we're not. What is theta representing? It's representing degrees. It's representing degrees. If you want to use your feet or convert them to centimeter, I mean, that's whatever. It doesn't matter. It's not going to change the answer. Okay. Just I, you need to remember we're finding theta, which is going to be in degrees. Okay? Mm -hmm. okay. Got it, Michael?